That guy sat on our path, and to celebrate as the two of you begin this journey together, in the days ahead of you, there will be times of conflict and times of joy. Harmony will be your reward if you follow this advice. Let your love be stronger than your anger. Learn the wisdom of compromise, for it is better to bend than to break. Look for the best in your beloved rather than the worst. Have patience with one another. Storms will come, but they will pass quickly. Confide in your partner and ask for help when you need it. Remember that true friendship is the basis for any lasting relationship. And give your spouse the same courtesies and kindnesses you bestow on your friends. I ask you to remember what 1 Corinthians chapter 13 teaches us of love. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not exist in its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love is never ending. At some time, you decided to marry. From that moment of yes to this moment of yes, indeed, you have been making commitments in an informal way. All those conversations that were held in a car, or over a meal, or during long walks. All those conversations that begin with, when we're married, and continue with, I will, and you will, and we will. And all those late night talks that included, someday, and somehow, and maybe. And all those promises and unspoken matters of the heart, all these common things and more are the real process of a wedding. The symbolic vows that you're about to make are a way of saying to one another, you know, all those things that we've promised and hoped and dreamed, well, I meant it all, every word. Before this moment, having many things to one another, acquaintance, friend, companion, even teacher, for you have learned much from one another over the years. Shortly, you should say a few words that will take you across a threshold of life and things between you will never quite be the same. For after today, you should say to the world, this is my husband and this is my wife. We will now continue with your vows. So if someone can come and take her flowers, please. And you can start, Michael. Today we begin the next chapter of our life together. I promise to our families and our friends to be a faithful husband. I choose to live with you as your lover, husband, and friend, loving you when life is peaceful, during our successes, during our failures, supported by your strengths, and accepting your weaknesses. I will honor your goals and dreams. I will strive to be honest, open with you, and sharing my thoughts and my life. I promise to love and cherish you from the day, from this day forward. I promise to respect, admire, and appreciate you for who you are and the person you wish to become. I promise to seek a deep understanding of your wishes, your desires, your fears, and your dreams. I promise to always strive to meet your needs, not out of obligation, but because it brings light to my heart to see you happy. I promise to be there for you when you need me, whenever you need me. I promise to nurture your goals and ambitions, to support you through rain, through the rain and the storm, and celebrate all your accomplishments. I promise to persevere when times get tough, knowing that any challenges we might face, we will conquer them together. I promise to show you every day that I know exactly how lucky I am to have you in my life.
I never thought I would be standing here with the man of my dreams at 22 years young. I remember praying to God for a God-fearing, loving, humble man who would treat me like rubies and gold. And for a second, I thought it was impossible up until I met you. I will let God make me the woman that you deserve. I will protect you, trust you, and respect you. I promise to be by your side through our joys and through our sorrows for all the days of my life. And I will continue to lead you spiritually as your life. God has prepared me for so much. So I make this promise to strengthen, comfort, and encourage you until my last breath. Therefore, through life, no matter what may be ahead of us, I pledge to you my life as an obedient and faithful way. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in a sickness and in health, I pledge to you my faithfulness to show you the same kind of love that Christ shows to church. From this day forward, from this day forward, I will love you. I will love you. I will cherish you. I will cherish you. I will be true to you. I will be true to you. No matter what comes into our lives, no matter what comes into our lives, we are rich or poor. If we are rich or poor, in sickness or in health, in sickness or in health, my heart belongs only to you. My heart belongs only to you. The other ring, please. Yeah, right now. Mm -hmm. Goes on his left hand, second finger, and repeat after me. This ring is a circle. This ring is a circle. A circle has no end. A circle has no end. So it symbolizes. So it symbolizes. My never ending love for you. My never ending love for you. From this day forward. From this day forward. I will love you. I will love you. I will cherish you. I will cherish you. I will be true to you. I will be true to you. No matter what comes into our lives. No matter what comes into our lives. If we are rich, what? In sickness or in health, my heart belongs only to you. Alright, I'll touch it. I'm gonna put your hands out like this. And then yours the same way on top of hers. I'll touch I want you to take a good look at these hands. I want you to see the gift that these hands are to you to look into his eyes, take a look at his eyes. Eyes that have filled completely with his overwhelming love. Now Michael, I ask you to hold your hands. I also want you to see the gift that these hands are to you. These are the hands of your best friend. They're smooth, young, and carefree that you hold on your wedding day as she pledges of love and commitment to you all the days of her life. These are the hands that will hold you tight as you struggle through difficult times. These are the hands that will comfort you when you are sick or console you when you are grieving. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years for a lifetime of happiness. Together as a team, everything you wish for can be realized. Lord, we thank you for bringing out Joshua and Michael together. We ask you to bless their hands. May they always be held by one another. May they see their four hands as healer, protector, shelter, and guide. We ask this in your name. Amen. You may hold hands. May the sun bring you happiness by day. May the moon softly restore you by night. May the rain wash away your worries and the breeze bring your strength into your being in all the days of your life. May you walk gently through the world and know its beauty. And to each one of you, thank you for being here this morning, sharing this special day, the lives of Michael and of Joshua. Well, you have pledged your love before this gathering and made it clear that you wish to spend the rest of your lives married to one another. Therefore, by the power of me, by the state of Rhode Island, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Congratulations! <laughs>